Hello YouTube viewers. Once again, welcome to the Depression. This is Discovering My Channel. Thank you for your comments and thank you for your contribution to this channel. For the number of time now, we'll be talking about a free energy system, how to design a free energy generator. And we have gone so far. If you go to the channel, you see a lot of videos on how to design a free energy, what you require and all the material needed. In today's production, I'm going to discuss the tool that will make your energy production to work perfectly well. And I'm going to use some critical production, some critical energy system to show you some key factor about what makes it wrong and what makes it right in this production. Let's just take follow me out on this channel and I believe you are going to enjoy this particular teaching. Now, let's take a look at this uh, this. Uh, generator is a very critical generator which was produced in the fire. Like this I want you to see in this uh, generator which is very very critical. Now if you look at here I put something here as you can see I call it a, a master point. What is the master point? The master point is the two kills uh, area which you must focus on which people make mistake and what made them make a mistake. The two critical areas which you have to very, very uh, focus if you want to have a clear production, if you want to have an intensive aqua result in fringe production is this two key area, which is the, the generator and the electric motor. In these two areas, you see that that is the master point, the master point where you have to focus and you have to mount. Now, if you look at the generator very well, you observe that this motor it is not really as big as you think, and this is it's more or less of a little production capacity. This is how people got it wrong. Now, you cannot have this kind of a, a good design of the generator, and then you put a little motor which is not of capacity because it's not it's more or less of a of a DC system it's of this system that is why you see it is connected by the director to this batteries because and now if you are using this motor on the generator of this of this magnitude of the generator then you definitely you may not have the result you want because for you to use this motor in this generator it means the speed ratio will solely depends on the batteries uh, which is not heavy in your production system because this motor, as I said now, is not a direct uh, AC motor. AC motor is preferable in every production you're doing. I advise my subscriber to use AC motor, not DC motor, because DC motor is solely depend on the capacity of the batteries. Because the batteries is the one that gives us the power. And that is not solely a free energy system because you are still to charge the batteries. But if you want to have it right, I advise you to use a AC motor system. That is why I said where they got it wrong is here. Don't use what AC motor. If you want to have a good result in energy production, I advise you to use what the AC motor. I spawn my one because I said got the power star point. Then if you go further in this uh, diagram, which is also the generator system, I list out the air key area also, which you have to take note on. Just like the last vision, I also need this area that people get it. You have to put in place. Now I talk about in this place and point out the batteries here. But the batteries here. Now this batteries is a very high capacity with the four volt battery system. And then because of the four volt battery system, this here you have a DC motor. Now the produce the speed of this DC motor is depend on the, the capacity of the batteries which come from this place, which come from the the motor, the who come from the batteries production and then that is where we have this production we are working now for instance now if what will happen if the battery runs down 
or how does the battery charge itself is very important because many of us have that mistake of this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want. But we have not put into consideration the area and the key things we need to know about this operation system. Don't use battery directly on the on the motor, which is also the whether it's the AC motor or the single motor. The batteries must have another supporting system that enable it to be charging. If you are going to use the batteries directly, then you are going to be the batteries. You want to use the battery that is the batteries will dry off and it will be dead. So you don't use the battery that is as well. You need to get it wrong. Then you see this unit in the bus. The unit bus here is the control bus. It's the one that gave the power. But if you see in this place, the unit bus is too close to the generator. It's too close to the generator. And that is where we have the bus. The wheel system. Now if you see the wheel system now in this place, one of the things I observe in the wear system is that you see the, the belt in this wear system is 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 not the way it ought to be because this belt ought to be a little up so that it will give allowances of not touching this two bed because if you see the close the proximity of these two beds are too close and this can cause a problem on the production system because if this one is on the fifth speed and this one is a fifth speed, the tendency of the two and touch is very high. So the, this is where he also got it wrong in this place. How he got it wrong. And this is how many people get it wrong. The two beds are too close. You need to give a space on this place so that the bed can move. Because if the two beds are touching together, it may not give you what you want. Nice area and look at it. And also talk about the issue of motor already earlier about the motor system. Kind of motor you should use, not this kind of motor, and, the, and this motor, and also look at the cable in this place. Look, and the bus here is too close because it can cause fire crush. There must always be a, a little space between the pedal cap. Now, if you look at that, the batteries is almost inside this bus, and if you look closely, you see that also here, the, you cannot even see a space between the, the motor, the generator, and the bus. So, these are the things you observe in. Long work, why some people get it wrong, and this alone can cause long pollution. Now, let's take a look at the main particle of this system and see what we'll get more on this area. You can see all of the, the speed of the motor. Now, if we start critically now in this place, now we observe that the motor is flowing directly from the batteries. Let's see the configuration. The voltage ratio generated 2.19, and you can see that there is the pressure. Though it is giving the pressure high pressure speed, but you can see with the batteries. Using them. Up now, here is the UPS. Now, in this case, use the UPS as the battery system to charge the batteries all the time, which 
it's not too impossible. You just pay a cost and a separate telephone is not a system. It's a separate rule. So why is what is wrong in this place? You UPS, if there is no UPS, why don't you say bad time is on UPS? So that you change the batteries to the system or help you to change the batteries. Thank you.